Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for February 14th through the 20th. This is a special edition Valentine's Day, Valentine's Week, singles reading for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. Feel free to do that. Cross watchers could be a reading or messages for you. All right, Pisces, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you do need to know, Pisces, about me in this channel is down below. Your playlists are down there in the description box. You can check that out. All the February readings are out. If you are returning here, I'm going to be uh, switching it up just a little bit as my work schedule, my day job, taking a lot of my time. So I'm switching up to the weekly readings will be just a tad bit longer, but not as long as the monthlies. And the monthly readings, I'm going to kind of discontinue those. And instead, I'm going to be doing um, a little bit of a longer weekly reading, and then I'm going to be doing a shorter weekend reading. And it may be just like a weekend love reading. So um, I'll still be looking at all energies though. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So you still get two readings a week, eight a month. Um, just a little bit shorter for me since I don't really have the time. I am doing like 45 to 50 hours a week and I don't know when that's going to come to an end. Not for the unforeseeable future. So I'm going to try to do what I can for you guys. So... All right, Pisces, singles, Valentine's week. What is going on for Pisces? What do you need to know? I have some new decks here. So if you are wondering what they are, they are listed below. All right, Pisces, let's see. We have intimacy, oh, Pisces, and dating. Well, I think if you're dating someone, it's about to become more intimate, maybe more... Um, maybe bonding more you may be um being more exclusive as well so let's see and we have hidden motivations well that can be good or bad we'll see we have one which is a new beginning and we have travel events we have five which is change now i don't know why i'm getting that maybe someone here you know just wants a travel companion i don't know be careful i mean some sort of hidden motivations now and having to do with travel so this could be somebody who does travel a lot and they travel in and out of your life all right let's see we have security which is cottage and we have Watchtower of the East, spring. So we are going, coming into spring very soon here. You know, and spring is about all new growth, expansion, um, you know, fresh new energy. It's, you know, warm. Hmm. So I'm definitely feeling like this is a newer connection and it definitely could get more serious going into the springtime. But there is a sense here of somebody wanting security, but also somebody either travels for a living and may want you to move or travel with them. Um, I don't know, maybe they're not telling you that. I don't know, um, but we'll see here. So be careful. So you may have a different sense of um, you know, you may want one thing and they may want another thing. So there may be a little bit of a mismatch. I don't know. We shall see. Some of you may live in the East. We are going into spring. Um, North America in as well. All right. Let's see. Pisces. What do we have here? All right. So we have the star. So I'm feeling like you think it's a wish dream come true. It's divinely guided. Seven of Cups. But there's some sort of illusion or confusion around this. So be careful. Page of Swords. You may have to do some research. I'm saying. The Devil. Yeah. And the Eight of Cups. So that's that traveling. You know, they may tell you that they, um, it's not forever. 
that they have to travel or whatever here, but I don't want to be careful. There's something that they're not telling you. Because sometimes the Page of Swords can be about no communication when that's what is needed. It also can be doing uh, research, going online or, you know, checking out somebody's social media. So you may want to do your research. If there's something confusing about this person, and let's get more here. Eight of Wands. So there's a travel, action, communication, Cupid's arrows, text, emails, phone calls. Two eights here. Eight is about putting in the work, and eight upside, uh, sideways is infinity. So there's something not yet complete, or it's a very in and out energy back and forth. I'm not liking this devil here. So we're going to do a little clarifying if we need to here. Five of Swords. Yeah. There's something they're not telling you. Again, that could be the hidden motives right here, and it may not, may not be good. I don't know. Page of Wands. More communication. Ace of Swords, divine clarity from source here. What I feel like, what I feel like here, Pisces, is that you're gonna do somebody here is gonna do some research, even though they feel like, oh my gosh, this person, you know, is like my wish, my dream, you know, they feel like they've been heaven sent. But there's an illusion behind it. So the page of swords here could be telling you you need to do some research about this person, especially if it's a newer connection. Um, something needs to either change, so either they're very in and out, like non-committal. I mean, the devil can be stress, fear, worry, anxiety, low self-esteem, or toxic behavior, or toxic energy, addictions, obsession. I mean, it could be anything. But um, I'm getting this energy of Eight of Cups can be a walking away, but the Eight of Wands is about coming back in, so I'm getting that in and out energy. Um... You know, it could be that when they come back, you know, page of wands, it's all hot, fiery, passionate, exciting. You know, they may have exciting stories to tell you, but I feel like it's a cover-up of some sort. But the Ace of Swords is here to say that uh, for some of you, this could be exactly what's going on. Divine Clarity from Source, Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment. You know, it could be telling, you know, somebody wants security, but somebody wants to travel. So I think we have um, opposing energies here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So feeling, someone's feeling stuck about taking this. I feel like this connection to the next level of being more like, um, like I said, exclusive. Like going from dating to still dating, but being just exclusive to dating that person before you actually like get committed in some way to this person. Emperor. So we do have Divine Masculine here. Somebody could be controlling as well or own their own business. Aries Energy. Page of Cups. So a lot of communication here. Three pages. Oh, that's what's really, really needed in this connection. Is open, honest, truthful communication. Expressing how we really feel. What's really going on. Pisces, this is you. Queen of Wands. I'm wanting to know if there's still others involved as well. Queen of Wands here now. Aries energy. Knight of Cups. Foreign movement in love. And the Empress. So we do have the masculine and the feminine. Libra Taurus here. So feeling like it's divine counterparts, like it's heaven sent, but and I'll see what this devil energy is. Let's see what this devil energy is. So I do see, you know, Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Oh, let's see. What is the devil energy? The moon, yeah, a secrets. I'm telling you, Pisces energy here. That secrets illusion, secrets illusion. There's something. Knight of Swords. This person may rush back in here. Knight of Swords, very fast action. Rush, rush in here with excitement, passion, great stories to tell. I want you to be a part of it. I'm excited for you. Be in my future. Like all this nonsense to cover up either a hidden agenda. Or something like that either about their life or what they truly want moving forward like they may be telling you they want security moving in or something but really all they want to do is to keep doing what they're doing of traveling and maybe their agenda is oh once we get settled in and then i'm going to have this you know somehow i'll coerce this person into you know leaving that behind to travel with me or leave behind you know wherever their foundation is that's kind of what i'm feeling here 
like they could be telling you yeah especially if they travel and they come and see you like say you live in the they're from the east and they come see you on the west coast and when they come in they're like oh yeah yeah we're going to settle down but all intentions is try to get you to move back east with them down the road so there's something about a hidden agenda here yeah three of cups can be dating getting to know reuniting um i want to see what this page of swords if that is doing if you're doing some sort of spying or research what are you going to find out i feel like this is finding out the illusion or the secret or the um whatever is behind the illusion here chariot yeah see traveling oh my god so yeah traveling moving distance back and forth someone could be very very successful uh whatever they do if they do travel what is this Ace of Swords bringing in? That's Cancer Energy up there with the Chariot. What is the Ace of Swords bringing in? The High Priestess. Things that you don't know. Exactly. Truth coming to light of things you don't know. Secrets. Pisces, that's you. Queen of Cups. That's Cancer Energy. Again, a lot of love here. You know, it is feeling like a soulmate, true love kind of energy. Feeling that way. But yet there's a lot of holding back of... Um, everything not being revealed though so there's more you need to find out about this person their agenda what they do if they're only exclusive to you are they dating other people you have to feel safe secure and um know everything here do your research because i think you're going to find out that uh if they're saying that they they settle they may not be they may be you know springing it on you in a few weeks oh i gotta travel again but it's the last time and that may go on over and over and over so just be careful of that yeah returning here always returning six of cups hang man making you feel in limbo pisces and stressed out nine of swords so there's something yeah king of swords you need clarity on this gemini energy here seven of wands you need to you know stand up for yourself here and speak your truths be strong courageous and brave strength here leo so there's a lot of illusion um it feels someone is feeling a very close secure safe intimate connection when they are together it's heaven sent feeling like a lover a soulmate a pure love true love being in love but then when there's separation or they leave it's very uh, there's a lot of illusion surrounding this and confusion that needs to be cleared here i feel pisces so be a little careful with this one whatever this uh, means for you um regarding work money career or finances i'm feeling like here um pisces let's see you may be thinking about you may be thinking about taking a job where you need to travel <laughs> Maybe you're not sure if you want to do that. Um, I'm not. I'm not really feeling that. I feel like it's this person. You may be returning back home, moving back home, returning to a childhood dream, uh, making your wishes and dreams come true from your childhood. So you may be um, putting that into motion as well. Whether that's um, following your heart. I mean, the you know it could be a spiritual endeavor as well. I'm not really getting like um, starting your own business or anything like that, but you definitely could be um, maybe taking uh, a little bit of a side job or side um, project that involves spirituality or faith, religion, or something like that, where you may sharpen your skills here with the Ace of Swords regarding that. Just as a, like a little fun or hobby, you may make a little money doing it here uh, as well. May could be very healing for you if that's what you're deciding to do. All right. Let's see. It could be an offer coming into you with this page of wands. It could be somebody um, that does this and wants you to kind of come work for them, maybe in their shop, maybe once in a while, or something like that as well. All right. Doesn't have to be, but let's see. You may be looking at getting out of the job you're in because it could be very um, sabotaging, deceiving, a lot of confusion, backstabbing. 
oh, I'm going to turn the card around, Mary. So we have beard maturity. See, some of you are hoping to mature a current connection for it to be more intimate, that you will actually like grow old together. But I, I don't know. There's something. There's something clouding this or illusion. White purity, innocence, safety, and light. You have to make sure that this is coming from uh, a good place here. That's what I feel. Someone here is very innocent. It may not be seeing what's really going on here. So, shark survival. Yeah, something about surviving wasp jealousy. Ooh. That could be your work environment, you know? A lot of jealousy, just feeling like you're surviving day by day. And you're wanting to go into a more, like, peaceful, safe um, energy. Let's see if there's anything else here. Pisces. flame eternity so there could be a chance here where this uh, could go the distance but all um, illusion has to be cleared rapid soul development that comes from challenging times yeah it could be a little bit challenging seven is you know very divinely guided spiritual energy names energy alignment can mean something especially if it's an M or maybe the number three so but we do have pink love, caring, compassion. So it could be, again, like that new love uh, situation here. But be careful. Be careful. There's <laughs> more that needs to be um, more that needs to be um, cleared up with this energy here before we make any plans to like lock this down or whatever, or take it to the next level. There's something confusing or um, clouding this, whatever that means for you, Pisces. All right, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. So I hope that helped and resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated. Again, all your February readings are out. Please uh, check those out if you would like to. More weeklies to come. Again, I'm going to weekly readings and uh, weekend readings, which may be love readings. I still look at every energy, though, all the energies. So keep an eye out for that. So I won't be doing those longer monthly readings. I just, I just don't have time. So I hope you understand, and I hope you like the new format going to give it a try. So thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated and I shall see you next time.